Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be a Amazon must haves content creator edition or tech edition or whatever the case may be, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube edition, content creating. I'm going to tell you all the things that I use and I love that comes from Amazon. So we're gonna have cameras, tripods, memory cards, lights, all of that so if you are interested in hearing what i would recommend you get especially if you're starting off or maybe you've been doing it for a little while like i have whatever the case may be i'm going to have something for you in this video so since starting my youtube channel i've used five different things to record with starting off with my cell phone i've always had an iphone of some sort so whether it was iphone 8 I believe that's what I start with, started with, or the 11, and now I have the 13. So, I feel like if you just only have your, I feel like if you've only used your camera, you know, if that's all you have right now, I feel like that is a really great option. It gives you really great quality, especially if you have good lighting around you. So, if the lighting is good, the quality is going to look amazing. One year for Christmas, I got a camera. The first camera I ever had was the Canon. Power shot, I believe that's what it was called. That camera was okay. I feel like that camera worked really, really good when you had great lighting around you, but in low light, I feel like it did not perform at its best. The next camera I had was the Canon G7X Mark II. When I first got the camera, I really enjoyed the camera. As time went on, I realized the camera had a really, really hard time focusing. So sometimes I'll be sitting talking how I am now and it wouldn't be able to keep up with me. If I'm moving a little bit, it would just get out of focus and then the whole clip just look blurred. I, mean, I would recommend that camera if, you know, that's your only option, but it does have a hard time focusing. Two things I really like about that camera is the size of that camera and I really enjoy how long the battery lasts as well. So I don't think it's a horrible camera, but I do feel like there are some better options out there when it comes to like focusing. And as you guys can see, when I talk, sometimes I like to talk with my hands and if I'm recording, I really need to get the camera to be able to keep up with what I'm talking about and the motions I'm making. The next camera is the camera that I'm actually recording you on right now. This is the Canon M50. I love this camera so much, y'all. I don't have enough good things to say about this camera. Like, I absolutely love this camera. It focuses real good. It works good in low light. It works even better when you have great lighting. It's just a really good camera. It also takes amazing pictures. I take most of, like, 99.9 .9 of my pictures on my Instagram page, follow me on Instagram, are taken on this camera. It has a really good flash on it. It just works really good. It's all over a great camera. The battery can last you two to three days and I am a vlogger, which means I use my camera a lot. It's just a really good camera. My only con, my only con for this camera is, like I stated, I do vlog a lot and this was the camera I was vlogging with. It's big. It's not the biggest camera in the world, but for vlogging, I carry a lot of small purses. Sometimes I just need to pop you in my jacket pocket. You're not able to do that. It is a really big camera, but it's really good. I like it because you're able to switch out the lenses if you want to. You can get a more crisper lens for taking pictures. or It's just a really, really, really good camera. I would always recommend this camera if you're into photography or if you want to make TikToks or sit down videos. Perfect camera, but a little too big for vlogging. And last but not least, we have the camera I am using now. This is the Sony ZV-1. This is my first time not having Canon. <laughs> Other than the time I used my phone. The camera was an adjustment for me. I've actually bought this camera twice. So, the first time I bought it, I did not like it. I felt like I looked like a like a cartoon character. I couldn't figure out what it was. But come to find out, this camera has like a beauty filter on it. And when you have it turned all the way up, you can look, in my opinion, for me, I look really like, like Clado. Like, I don't know, you really couldn't see the features of me. It just looked like a, like a, I just looked like a, like a figure. And I really didn't like that. I was able to turn it off and I absolutely love the camera. Two things I didn't like, don't, well a few things I don't like about this camera is the battery life. The battery life does not last as long as my Canons did at all. I can probably get maybe like 
20 minutes of I don't I don't exactly know how long maybe like a video done or maybe not even a whole video done and I'm gonna have to switch the battery like it just doesn't it just doesn't last at all and it could be because it is a smaller more compact camera so I don't know but my Canon G7X wasn't like that I really don't know the next thing I don't really care for about this camera is the fact that it didn't come with flash the Canon G7X did have flash on it and before I got the M50 I used to take pictures on the Canon G7X the Canon G7X Mark II does take really nice pictures so I feel like this camera would only be for recording since you're not able to like take pictures with the flash on it so that's kind of a bummer for me and the next thing is you need the wide angle lens like you just really need the wide angle lens because without the wide angle lens this camera is like more cropped into your face so it able to like expand especially if you're vlogging like be able to like expand what people can see I feel like you need the wide angle lens so I will have all of these cameras and the wide angle lens linked down below. So before I got my MacBook and I was vlogging off my camera, this piece was like the most important piece in the world to me. This is an SD card reader. So since I used to edit off my phone on iMovie, I would have to take my memory card of my, out of my camera, put it into this and plug this into my iPhone. Y'all. When I would lose this piece, it would be a bad day for everybody because <laughs> I wasn't able to transport my footage and edit. So the SD card reader, it, it makes it so you can transfer your footage from your camera to your phone. This is also an important part if you take pictures on your camera, how I do. So every time I take pictures on my camera, I take out the SD card, I import the pictures to my phone and I can look at the pictures that way. It's just so easy and it's just such a lifesaver and this is just a piece you need. Even if you want to make like higher quality TikToks and not make the TikToks on your cell phone, you can record the TikToks on your camera, transfer the footage to your phone and then just edit it that way and post it on TikTok or Reels or whatever the case may be. This is the SD card reader. You absolutely need this. I'll have a link down below. And these are, if you if you're ever in a rut and you just need one, they do sell them at Best Buy, but they're like thirty something dollars on Amazon. You can get these for like eleven ninety nine. So I'll have a link down below. The next must have I would recommend are memory cards. Personally, I always get the gold ones. I don't know why. Maybe because it's not the lowest quality one, but it's not the highest quality one. And they're always like a really good price range. I get all of my memory cards from Amazon. I find that Amazon is the cheapest when it comes to memory cards. And I have a lot of memory cards. I am the type of content creator that likes to separate my footage. So if I'm vlogging on one card, I don't want to put it on the card. I don't want to put it with the same footage as, as a get ready with me. If I'm doing like a shower routine, I don't want to put that with the um, get ready with me. You know what I mean? I really just like to have my footage as organized as possible. That's just what works for me. I find when I have a lot of footage on one memory card, it's hard for me to navigate what's what. Sometimes it does become a little difficult trying to keep up with all the memory cards, but that's why you get you a memory card pouch. Since having a memory card pouch, it's just made it really, really easy for me to keep up with my memory cards since I do have a lot of them. I've had this pink memory card pouch for so long y'all it it has seen better days i will link mine down below but i will also link some affordable other ones that i would recommend as well be like a hardback one i think the reason why i picked this one was because it was pink and it was cheap and it was small they do have some other sd card like memory card packs that's bigger. I like this. I can just throw it in my purse if I want to edit at a coffee shop. Pull it out. You know, it's, it's it's just simple. It's small. It's simple. And it has it has a bunch of different slots in it. All my memory cards are not in here right now. But that's another story. You guys, the next thing is something I know you've seen already. The light. <laughs> 
this light for me started off as oh I can use this when I'm vlogging and I'm um, out in public sometimes when I'm at dinner it's really dark there and for better quality I can bring my portable light but this light has turned into I use this for everything I use it from when I'm like taking pictures outside I use it from when I'm like vlogging in the house I can just clip it onto the um, view viewfinder and now I have great quality light and good lighting everywhere I go around the house um, I use this for TikToks I've used this for everything it's just a really 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 good light it's rechargeable it has a few different settings on it you can also adjust the brightness so you can have like super duper bright or you can have it you know more calmer it also has yellow lighting on here and it also has my favorite setting on this light is when you can do the yellow and the white light mix it's like both of those mix so you get like just this beautiful lighting I recommend this 1000% I have to tell you about the con though this piece in the back is like a clip and it comes out I don't know why they even made it so where it can come out but sometimes this breaks and when it breaks you're done <laughs> You're done. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. So, I have bought, like, three lights. And now, since I have three lights, I'm able to just charge them all up. And when one go dead, I can just unclip this part and clip it onto another one. And I'm good to go. So, I mean, just depending on how you look at it, it can be a con or it can be a pro. Because now I have multiple lights. But if you don't get anything else from this video, get you this light. It is amazing. It is life-changing. And you definitely need it. Since we're on the topic of lights, I will bring this one up. I love this light. But I don't use it as much as I thought I would. But you really do like it. So this is like... A portable light you can just screw it onto any tripod you have and this light gets super duper 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 bright when I bought this light I bought it to minimize like my like my setup for when I'm making videos I figured that I could just use this one light and it'll just do the job I really like this for traveling that's what I use it a lot for when I'm traveling and I want to create content this is what I like to bring because it's easy, it's small, it's portable, and I don't have to bring my whole two big setups. This will also make good for if you like to take pictures outside at nighttime and you really need some light. Like I said, this light gets super duper bright, so it'll be a great light for that. And you, you also can use it for content creating as well if you want to do some videos because it is a good light. However, I just prefer two lights on the side of me both ways you know what I mean like I like a light right here and then a light right here or sometimes like I'm doing now I'm only using one of my lights so it just depends I'll have this link down below I would recommend this it comes with the battery and it works really really good it's a super duper bright light my actual light setup that I'm using right now while well, I'm only using one are the newer box lights I've had these for maybe two years now I absolutely love them they also have the setting to where you can make it yellow or you can make it more white or you can mix and match you know whatever the case may be I love these like I said I'm only using one right now and you see how bomb it looks <laughs> sitting in my room and I'm recording I use both and I have my camera in the middle of me but right now I just have one right here my camera right here and it looks amazing probably because it's kind of dark in here so I don't know, but I would definitely recommend these lights if you're looking for looking for a light setup. You know, you don't know what to choose from. Starting off, back in the day, we all had you know just a circle ring light. We were sitting in front of us, and that's just what we did. I feel like it's more ways around it now. It's different. It's so much more out to where you can have a better quality lighting system. I feel like the ring light in front of you will just give you direct light but i mean it just depends on how you like creating your content next up we're going to talk about tripods so this is actually an amazon basics tripod i like this tripod it's very simple it's very affordable and it just gets the job done this is what i'll use sometimes to just like record a video how i'm recording now just my basic regular everyday tripod it does have three different limbs on it so i'll show you about how long it would get so it extends this long and then the neck of it also comes up 
if you need that it has the thing to tilt it has a thing where you can, you know, tilt the camera. Oh, this is just a really good tripod and it's affordable. You don't need to spend hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of dollars just on a regular, you know, tripod. I mean, depending on the equipment you're using too. Like I told you guys the cameras I've used, the Sony ZV-1 and the Canon M50. If you have maybe like a bigger camera with the heavy lens on it, this is not going to do it for you. Your camera will probably fall forward. So in that case, you would need a more sturdier tripod. But if you're using like just the basic everyday camera, this would definitely work for you. Here's another tripod. This tripod is mainly for like vloggers. What I like about this tripod is that it's kind of small and you're able to like bend it. So if you're sitting down at your breakfast at the dining room table talking to your vlog while you're eating breakfast, you can make it smaller so it can come down lower to you and my favorite thing about this tripod is like when i'm out shopping maybe like on a target run you're able to use this tripod to wrap it around the basket you get can you see what i'm doing like these like move and they turn and twist however you want them to go so you're able to like wrap this around the basket and you can just have it sitting on the basket facing you and you can talk to the camera without having to hold the camera. I really, really like that. I like this tripod. This one was actually pretty affordable as well. It's versatile. You're able to do a lot with it. I've had this for a while. I've had all my tripods that I've had has been pretty good. The only reason why I get new ones is because I lose them. <laughs> This is another must have. This is like a phone stand. So this could be good for, I use it a lot for leisure, like to watch YouTube videos, TikToks, whatever the case may be, when I'm doing my makeup and getting ready. But you can also use this stand for when you want to go live, maybe on like Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or wherever you wanna go live with. You're able to just sit your phone on your desk or whatever and just talk to the people without having to hold your phone, so. I really like this and this is so affordable. I know a lot of people already have these, but some people may not know. So I'm just including anything I can think of that I think will help you better your life. So I'll have my link down below and I will also have a few different ones linked down below if you don't necessarily want mine. I don't really know what this is called, but I use it for storing everything I need to travel with as far as like my equipment or whatever the case may be. It's like a hard box and then in the inside you're able to like store away all your stuff maybe like your memory cards um my lights my adapters chargers whatever i need to store away for a while when i travel you can put it in here i really like this because you're able to keep everything you need like in one spot and it's just organized easy to find and it's hard so if something like smushes down on it you don't really have to worry about your stuff break breaking or anything happening to it so I would recommend this if you like to travel with all your equipment or whatever the case may be. And since we're in here, I would definitely recommend these little Bluetooth remotes. These are super affordable off Amazon. You're able to connect it to practically anything, your camera, your iPad, your phone, whatever the case may be. And if you wanna just stop and go, if you're making TikToks, if you wanna take pictures with it, you're able to do that. It's just a really cool, device to have when you're out and about and if you need it you know what i mean if you don't get anything else from this video you need this you need this tripod i'm actually recording right now on this tripod i love this tripod so much because it goes from a small portable tripod that you can just like hold in your hand and vlog with or sit on the counter and vlog with and it becomes this long tripod to where you can use it to create content like I'm doing now or you can take pictures with it. It's the best tripod ever. I absolutely love it. It also comes with one of those Bluetooth remotes so if you just get this you don't have to buy the Bluetooth remote. It's just a really really great piece y'all. It also comes with it also comes with like one of these pieces. This isn't the piece, but it comes with one of these that you can screw onto your phone so you can 
pop your phone up and make TikToks instead of using your camera. And it's just a really, really, really good tripod. All the things I've been telling you about throughout this video, I feel like are must-haves, great products. So definitely take what you will from this video. Everything will be listed down in the description box. If you have some tech products or some content creating tools you feel like I need, definitely let me know. I don't feel like I know everything about content creating, and especially up not about the equipment. Let me know if you feel like it's something I need. Comment it down below. I'd love to talk to you guys in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.